Yeah, what up, everybody? This is Square Off TV with Billy Niz. How you? How's everybody doing? Um, I want to talk about Nate Diaz. This was one of the most interesting fight weekends I've seen in a long time. There was a lot of shit that went on and a lot of backstories. Like Nick Diaz's last fight. Um, he's so happy to get out of his contract and congratulations, Nate. Um... I can I can understand what the fuck they put you through because Dana wanted that trilogy fight with Connor so bad it wasn't even funny. That would have been the biggest pay-per-view main event in the history of UFC. It would be in the top 5 definitely. The trilogy fight between Connor and Nate. They needed to get. They have to get. Like come on man. Like Nate please. I know you're, you're your own man. You do what you want. But you have to take care of that business bro. That ain't gangsta. Leaving the company without handling Connor. You got to handle that business bro. As a gangster. As you say you are. You should have fucking you should have handled him before you left. That was the fight to make, and Dana was right on that. I'm sorry, Salty Swagger was right. The reason why I call him that is because he's from my neighborhood. I'm from Salty, six one seven, Whitey Balger, all that bullshit. Yeah, mob ties, all that. Anyways, Nate, I'm so happy for Nate Diaz though. Nick got horsed in the ass by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. That fight with Robbie Lawler, if I told you what he made, you would fucking, you would call me, you would say I'm capping, you would say I'm a fucking liar. He barely made a hundred grand. I'm telling you the truth. He, owe, he owes that much money. And the UFC wouldn't help him pay for that or let it slide. They still let it come out of his pay. That's why he was like, fuck that. You got this, Robbie Lawler. Yeah, I knocked you the fuck out when we were in our prime, but you got me, yeah, or whatever. That's why he was like, fuck that. He didn't fight no more. I wouldn't have either. I would have did the same thing. Get the fight over with. But then I heard rumors of Connor fighting Nick in Dublin. I don't think that's going to happen. Nick ain't going to Dublin to fight, in fact. Nate. France. Like, the UFC is in a fucking bind right now, guys. The UFC and Dana White are in a fucking bind right now. They're two of their biggest stars. Three. Three of the, like, their best fighters are on their way out. The lightweight division is in, is keeping that fucking company going. Chan, the Chandlers, the Poirier's, the McGregor's. Connor only he Connor got one more fight left in him. I can't see him fighting it like um anymore. I'd love to see Brock come back for one more fight. And know what fight I want him to I would love for him to come back and fight. Like a steep A Mio chick. Think about the heavyweight division right now. If Brock Lesnar came back for a fight or two, who would you want him to fight? Francis Ngannou. I think Francis would knock him the fuck out. Brock Lesnar got no hands, bro. 
he came to Southie around the corner from my house to he and he got trained by Peter Welch, who's a very great who's a very good trainer. Jimmy Gifford, who's from Southie, he trained Misha Tate to her UFC Bantamweight title. And he got Frank Mir his second heavyweight title or his third. So, Salty Swag is in the house in the UFC, son. Jesse on fire ain't the one, ain't the only one with the dirt, homie. Well, he, his is speculation. My shit's real. And I, you found that out when I mentioned John Jones and Stipe. The UFC had to the next morning. They don't announce fights till like. Late afternoon, they came out that morning and announced it. I was like, wow, man. Do And um, the UFC is in a bind. Francis Ngannou, their heavyweight champion, hasn't signed yet because he wants to box. Nate Diaz just fought his last fight. He ain't a, a part of the UFC no more. He wants to box and make money and come in. So what's the big deal with letting the guys from the UFC go and box? The fucking boxers are too pussy to step in the octagon. They're pussy, except for James Tony. He came right to fucking Boston to fight the best heavyweight of all time. One of the best heavyweights, Randy Couture. He fought no slouch his first fight. I watched that fight. I was so, dude, I fucks with James Tony heavy in boxing. Roy Jones tapped that ass, though. Back, in, I watched that with my grandfather. Uh, but Nate Diaz, he, he, I mean, Dana. Chris Shelby, whoever else is in charge. What's the big deal with letting the guys go out and fight a boxing fight once a year so they can make their money? Put it in the contract that you got that you make some money off of it. Co-promote it. Fucking Conor McGregor lasted 10 rounds. With the fucking greatest of all time, Floyd Money Mayweather. If you watch that fight in slow motion, if that was a 10 round fight, Floyd wasn't winning by that much. Connor was getting him with nasty uppercuts, eight ounce gloves. That's what I'm talking about. And Francis Ngannou and Tyson Fury want to throw hands with UFC gloves in a boxing ring. I'll pay for that. That's what I call a beef, son. What? That's a beef, son. Two men. Tyson Fury, seven feet tall. Francis Ngannou, six, seven. Knockout power like a fucking horse. Boom. And he knows he, he got a little wrestling defense now too. So he's dangerous. But if he don't sign, John Jones will be fighting for a heavyweight championship. For Stipe Miocic. There'll be no interim. I don't know the... Like, um... I don't know how much time Francis Ngannou got to sign the contract. I don't know the whole thing about the contract. Like, how long he has or whatnot. But he hasn't signed yet. And he ain't in no hurry. So Dana White, 
you if you piss watch, he's gonna this is what's gonna happen, guys. And if I'm if I'm lying, I'm flying. You guys know Dana just like me. You piss him off, he's gonna be like, you know what, Francis? Fuck you. John Jones and Stipe is for the heavyweight title, is for the official UFC heavyweight championship of the world. And Cyril Gaon will get the winner of that fight. If not, he will be in that fight. Fact. Dude, he, he gave Tati Avasa 